Namaste, everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from... <laughs> it's, everything's backwards when you're looking at it. So here, in5d.com and bodymindsoulspirit.com. Welcome, everyone. Uh, hi to everyone that's joining us. Uh, a couple Oneana people, Jim and Kathy uh, from upstate New York. Uh, Nikki, Daniel, Ralph, Lynn, Tamara. Kenneth, Callie, Kimberly, Mike, Dana. <laughs> Namaste and welcome to another episode of N5D Live. I'm your host, Greg Prescott from N5D.com. And tonight I'm going to be talking about what to do if you're being psychically or energetically attacked. Um, but before I get to that, I'm going to um, just cover a couple other things in the meanwhile while people are filling in here. Um, and I, once again, it was last notice, which if you guys have been following my Facebook lives, this is what I do. I don't really give you much heads up. I just, you know, when spirit tells me to come, here I am. So, um, so here I am. And thank you for joining me, whether it's live right now or on the YouTube version that I'll be uploading later on. So I was at the beach earlier today. And uh, this evening, actually, I was there less than an hour ago um, was when I left. And, you know, of course, I do my walk of gratitude and my love bubble meditation. And uh, but I brought my guitar with me and I'm jamming. I've got my little portable speaker and I'm jamming along to music. And all of a sudden the music stops. And there was plenty of juice in my battery. There was no reason for that to happen. So I hit play and start jamming away for you know maybe a minute and it stopped and it kept doing that so I was having these electronical occurrences for no reason with my cell phone today and I thought that was interesting so I'm just putting it out there if anyone else has been having those kind of electronical quirks going on today let me know I always get nervous doing this thing. I don't know how many shows I've done. I've done a boatload of N5D radio shows. I've done a ton of N5D Facebook Lives, a YouTube Live, been interviewed a bunch of times. I get nervous every time, and that's why I usually end up speaking a lot quicker <laughs> than what I normally speak. But just hi to Trisha, Nancy, Tamara, Heather, Victoria, Sylvia, Heidi. Linda, Pedro, Sandra. So, um, and just to continue on too, um, just uh, a reminder to everyone that is on Patreon, um, I'll be raffling this off on um, July 7th, 7-7. Seven, seven. So um, if, you're, if you uh, support N5D, um, all it takes is like, a minimal one dollar eleven cent donation you could win this thing i think it's valued at like 250 170 i have no idea what it is it costs a lot of money but it fell off of me it was on similar to this one and it just whoop. here's something strange too i might have to give this one away too this one it's very similar Four nights in a row. This has never happened once. Four nights in a row. It's behind me when I wake up. So I, I'm looking at the message. What is possibly the message of it? It's putting it behind me. I don't need this anymore. So I think I might end up doing the same thing with this one too. So I have to find something else to replace it. But I thought that was pretty cool. Tina Long saying that her phone went dead. And uh, Paige McAdam is saying that, yep, phone has been acting up two days now. Another thing, too, there was like a mini wave that went through over the weekend. Excuse me, I'm just going to turn the fan on. Yeah, there was this mini wave that went through over the weekend, 
and I posted about it. And I don't know if you guys have, um, if you guys felt the same thing. Like, for example, Friday night, I went to bed relatively early for what I normally do. And uh, I got a good night's sleep. But on Saturday, I ended up taking two long-ass naps, probably four hours each, which was crazy. And then I went to bed early <laughs> on top of it. And the following night, uh, following day, I ended up taking another uh, four-hour nap on Sunday. But that night, I ended up staying up until like 4 o'clock. <laughs> and uh, today, I've been full of energy. No nap needed whatsoever. So it was, to me, this mini but powerful, extremely powerful wave that went through. Did you guys feel that over the weekend? Did you feel that, that whew, bam, <laughs> that's what it was. It was very short and intense. And then today, wow, just like full of energy today. There's another one, Mary saying that her phone's been acting up as well. <laughs> you know what I'm drinking. <laughs> I love this water. My fan's not on. Talking about <laughs> electronic occurrences. Let me try that again. Okay. <laughs> See what we get this time. <laughs> Wendy says, I want that medallion. Okay. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Oh. <laughs> um, so, yeah, did you guys feel that energy wave over the weekend? And what are you feeling today? Are you also feeling? that energy did you need a nap today whereas you needed one the, la the last two three days today i'm just like whew. <laughs> i don't know when i'm gonna go to sleep tonight i haven't yawned once at all today you know so it's, it's great uh, yeah it was a mini wave but it was very powerful danny um it was like i said it was it, for me it lasted uh, probably from friday night until monday but it was huge. <laughs> it was packed with power. <laughs> so, yeah. But today I feel great. And Jim's uh, saying that he's been drained for three days. A lot of people, a lot of us have been, you know, and that's what we're feeling. It's, you know, and it's important to pay attention to your body. Always listen to your body because your body's going to tell you what is going on. And um, this is what's happening right now. A lot of us are going through that. We're feeling it. And as I always encourage, make sure you put it out there um, on your Facebook page or whatever social media that you're on. You might be watching this on YouTube and decide to do a, a video on your, your energy um, reports, which I think would be awesome. So yeah, keep putting it out there. Okay. So... Before I get into what to do if you're being energetically or psychically attacked, um, as we know, Pluto is still in Capricorn and it stays in Capricorn until 2023, but we're over the apex of it because it entered in 2008 and then we hit the apex and now we're on the other side of it. And what's happening is this truth vibration is rising and we're seeing a lot of uh, truth coming to the surface. And it's really fascinating. Um, for th those of you who follow QAnon, I, I made a post. I don't know. It was maybe a, a week ago or so. Longer. It was longer than that. About a week and a half ago about Q. And there was something off about him um, and his post because he was saying to uh, support... Oh, what's his face? Uh, I forgot his name. Uh, Jeff Sessions. And Sessions is like very, you know, he's anti using marijuana for holistic reasons. He wants Julian Assange arrested and all this stuff. And that was a red flag for me. But, you know, I, I, I'd like to think that, you know, uh, maybe this is all part of the act. But this is really interesting. He hasn't posted anything since, I believe, the 22nd. And the last thing he posted was 
enjoy the show. I was curious how many times he said, because I've seen that before. I was curious how many times he said, enjoy the show. And it was 17. And as you know, you know, Q is the 17th letter of the alphabet. You know, and you see, you know, Trump holding up the shirts with 17, the sports jersey and all this crap. But, uh, you know, some people have speculated that Q is a live action role player, a LARP. And um, so if he put out there, enjoy the show, which is basically a, a LARP as an actor, enjoy the show. And he hasn't posted in like over a week. Um, just another thing to think about. Um, so I'm just putting it out there. I'm not telling you to jump off the Q bandwagon or to jump on it either, you know, because ultimately, <laughs> you know, you got to go within for the answers anyway. And we are the ones that are going to make this happen. We are the light that's at the end of the tunnel, regardless of what your political beliefs are. All that crap doesn't matter, honestly. Go within. <laughs> So uh, what's happening now, um, because of Pluto and Capricorn, we're seeing this, um, I call it super karma, because the, whatever you're putting out is coming back at you tenfold. And that includes the negative shit that you know, these dark magicians are putting out. Um, you know, these people that are not working in humanity's best interests are not doing too good right now. But conversely, you know, you keep putting keep putting that love vibration out there, okay? It's gonna keep coming back tenfold or more. So I have a MeWe page that I had to shut the chat down on because it got invaded by another spiritual website that that came in there and why they didn't just hang out at their own MeWe page, who knows? But um, they basically invaded my, my chat, and uh, a couple of their ex-members have came forward and have been telling me what's going on and why they were doing that and what they do. You guys have heard of loosh, right? You know, it's that spiritual energy. They call it splush. Same thing, though. And basically, they're trying to trigger people into conflict, and then they feed off the negative energy. And they might have somebody that follows up afterwards saying, oh, I can help you for free. And then they make that energetic connection and you're screwed. So it's something to look out for. The, our genre has been infiltrated and not all websites are what they seem. They might have a happy and fluffy name, but they're not necessarily happy and fluffy at all. And they're actually the antithesis of it. So one person, uh, said that she got nothing but headaches when she was in the chat room from them. She said, every time I went in and any one of them was in the room, instant headache. Like, really? I knew I was being attacked. So this is what some of these people are doing. So just be on the lookout for that, okay? And personally, I, I recommend going to On Stellar. Uh, I like that one much better. It seems like MeWe is just for these, like, hacker wannabes and energy vampires and I'm not going to deal with that. So go to on stellar, <laughs> see you there. We have one of the largest groups, as a matter of fact, on on stellar right now. So check it out. So I asked another ex member, what is specifically splush? And this is what she said. She said, that's the stuff they suck up from us. We put out emotions and they eat it through the energy tube they created from eating, triggering, fishing, and so on. But that's the problem though. Right when the energy connection starts to pass and weaken, they always come back and try to reestablish it. That's why if you look at all, all these folks in there, they try to get people to follow them to their thing, whatever their pages, individual pages might be, or to their main website. They need the glorification to not feel like crap. So, you know, 
these dark magicians, energy vampires, they're out there and just be really, really careful of who you follow. And ultimately, you know, I've been saying this all along, you know, we are the gods and goddesses. We are the ones we have been waiting for. I totally agree with the Hopi. But, you know, ultimately you, you really need to go within for the answers and rely on what anyone else says, and myself included or any other website, as confirmation for what you already know, okay? But go within for the answers. You already know this. We've already done this before. And just re-remember those answers. And find that quiet spot, that quiet place within, and you'll get, you'll get all the answers you're looking for, okay? So what to look for? Um, in regards to these kind of people. Um, my recommendation is to go to the people and or websites that have the longest reputation for doing this and are putting out a consistent message. You know, um, that, that's important. There, you know, that being said, there are still, there's newer uh, websites that are out there that are fantastic, but ultimately go with them for the answers, but also look for their consistency. Don't necessarily go all gaga over any of them, um, but make sure that they're consistent and putting out a positive message as well. Um, what to look out for. Okay, these are some questions that, you know, if you're, if you're looking at a, a YouTube video or a website, um, ask yourself this and you feel free to ask the same thing about anything that I do here on N5D. I'm totally cool with that. All right. So when listening to any spiritual leader, ask yourself, does this sound like the truth to me? Because the truth vibration is so much up there. And if you're not putting out the truth, <laughs> it's, you're going to know when somebody's telling you hot air and BS, you're going to know. And I try to help you guys out too, as much as I can. When I see stuff like this, I try to point it out and help you guys as well. And feel free to help me along too, because we're all in this together. Um, is this person playing the savior role? If somebody's out there saying that, you know, portraying to be some kind of savior and that you have to basically go through them in order to be saved, run. <laughs> we're going to save ourselves. Okay. Like I said, we are the light at the end of the tunnel. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the gods and goddesses. Okay. Does the message, the message that they're telling you feel right? And once again, that boils down to uh, discernment. Hi Tracy. Yep. I saw you. You saw me. <laughs> we're here. Glad you could make it. Um, hi Sandra. Renee and Jack and Lisa. But yeah, does the message feel right? Um, and you know, when you hear people, you know, if their voice is stressed out or, you know, even they could say something that sounds all light and fluffy, but inside you're like, no, that's hot air and bullshit. <laughs> so go with that and use that discernment. Another thing is, do you feel good after listening to that person? Um, ultimately, you know, you want to learn something first and foremost, and then compare that with what you already know. But do you feel good afterwards? Do you, do you feel like you, you've been <laughs> you lifted up? <laughs> That's important. Um, so did you learn anything positive from their messages? Um, some people just come out there and they just like hammer out all this. This is what's wrong with the world kind of crap. Well, you know what? There's a lot of good things. It's, you know, that kind of reminds me of like watching the news at night. You never feel good after watching the six o'clock news. Never. And, uh, but there's so many good things that are going on that they could fill that whole half hour with positive things, but they don't. And there's other people that are in this genre that just keep bitching and nip, 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 nip. No. is that how you want to feel? No, I don't. Um, is this person trying to control you? Uh, when you hear people going, you need to run. <laughs> those, are, those words are just like uh, nails on a chalkboard to me. You need to. Oh, no. 
please, please don't tell me I need to whatever. My, th my, my thing is, if I see something, like if I, if I saw a great movie, I would say, you know what, I saw this fantastic movie, and I think you would dig it if you had the chance to check it out. Now, you need to watch this movie, or you need to hear this song, you need to watch this video. Gosh, that. So yeah, if people are trying to control you, run. Um, do they hide behind fictitious names? If you notice most of the people in this genre, we are ourselves. You know, you look at like James Gilliland or David Wilcock, Corey Good, Craig Prescott. <laughs> we are ourselves. We don't hide behind any kind of names. Uh, you know, so here we are. This is us. We are real people. <laughs> Does the person seem scattered or incohesive in their thought structure? Know, if they have a hard time putting together a message or if their message seems scattered it's a little here and a little there you know that's kind of like a, a warning signal that maybe something's not all going on right up here so Craig Coleman truth does vibrate it, sh it certainly does I totally agree um, what else do we have does the person appear to be grounded? That's the number one thing I've seen with people in this genre that have lost it. <laughs> I'm not going to name names. That's not my style. Um, but people that have lost it, the one thing it appears is that they're not grounded. And I'm not going to tell people you need to ground, but I need to ground. <laughs> I'll tell myself that. I love grounding anyway. It's a wonderful way to connect with nature. And for me, I, I do my walk of gratitude while I'm grounding. Too. So I, you know, it's a great way to do a couple things and uh, connect with nature. And if you have the opportunity, if you're in that, that kind of climate, I know that, for example, in Australia, you guys are approaching winter and it might be a little bit more difficult to be barefooted, but um, get out there and if you're in a, an appropriate climate, get out there and ground barefooted. Craig Coleman's asking, does deception and untruth become more obvious? I think it, your, your discernment to that becomes stronger as we go on and you'll be able, you're in other words, your bullshit meter will go off when you hear the truth or when you hear the bullshit, you know, you, you'll know, you'll know. And I think, you know, as the more you rely with going within, you already know the answers. So whatever other people are telling you is just external stimuli that you either agree with or don't agree with, but you already have the answers within. Okay. Um, is the person predominantly healthy that's giving you these message or are they constantly having health issues? I mean, that's, you know, it's the body, mind, soul, spirit. It's a connection of all three, you know. So, you, you know, if one is off, and of course we all have our, you know, we all have gone through the ascension flu and we've had little, you know, quirks here and there. We've all done that. But this, what we're looking at, are they constantly having some kind of issues, okay? Um, does it truly feel like the person is coming from the heart or the ego, you'll know, you'll, you will know. Um, is this person or website website constantly soliciting you for money, services, or donations? I've been in this genre since 2008, and you know, my first website was maya12-21-2012.com, and I, I no longer have that up, but, um, I had a lot of articles on there that I have on here now. But uh, I've been doing this. This is my 10th year doing uh, this in this genre. And I've seen a lot of people come and go, a lot of websites come and go. And um, we're here for a long time. <laughs> we're here for the entire run, you know, until we make that transition with the shift. But, um, you know, follow those people even if they have a longevity record, still go within, 
you know, um, including myself and anything I put out there on N5D. You know, um, but I think I have a pretty good track record. <laughs> but that, that's for you to, to decide, you know. So. so what to do if you're being energetically or psychically attacked, okay? Excuse me. Okay, number one, pretty simple, eliminate contact with those people, you know, because what they're doing is they're feeding, they've got that cord attached, and they're feeding and feeding and feeding, starve them, <laughs> cut, off, cut off all contact with them, whatever they're going to do, let them go do their little thing, but if you're not giving them that energy, they're going to have to go elsewhere because they, they won't be getting it from you. And by engaging with them, conversely, you're consenting basically to give them your energy. So <laughs> really be aware of what you're getting yourself into. So number one, cut off all contacts with them. Number two is to know your trigger points. What is it that really gets your goat? Like for me, one of my trigger points. Um, I have a lead foot. I like driving fast. And uh, if there's a slow person in the passing lane, that irks me. If you're driving up a hill and somebody's hitting their brake as you're going up the hill, that irks me. You know, I, I don't get all pissed off. I don't bang my horn. I don't flip them off or any of that. <laughs> Just like little pet peeves. You know, I'm like, what are these people thinking? I remember one time I'm driving to my parents' house and it was a two lane at the time. It's now three lanes on I-75, but um, it was two lanes and I'm trying to pass this car and a van pulls out in front of me, uh, like a U-Haul van. And, uh, and the guy he's passing is doing like 68 and he's doing like 70 and he's just inching by him really slow. I'm like, come on, really? Just put the pedal to the metal and blow by him and I can pass both of you. Well, right after he pulls uh, pulls by this guy and starts turning into the right-hand lane, we, we end up going over this knoll and there's a cop there with a radar gun. So that guy was like a guardian angel for me. Um, pulled out in front of me because I would have flew by both of them, but he did me a huge favor. I just like smiled and nodded at him and waved afterwards. So I have no speeding tickets. I've got, I've got a lead foot, but yeah, I like driving fast. So um, trigger points. Okay, drugs and alcohol are another one. Um, if you know. You, Everything in moderation, okay? And I'm not telling you to go and do drugs or to do alcohol or to even eat shitty food, okay? Everything in moderation, though. You know, if I try to eat healthy, I did a video which brought you guys into my <laughs> refrigerator. All of my Patreon people saw what's in my refrigerator. Um, and 90% 90, 90 of it's probably healthy, but, you know, eventually you, you're going to go out and have a piece of pizza, you know, and it's... GMO flour in the dough, it's processed cheese, it's GMO tomatoes. It's not going to kill you. <laughs> so if you want to go out and have a slice of pizza, do it, you know, but everything in moderation. Drugs and alcohol, especially the alcohol part. I don't really partake in drugs, um, but the alcohol, um, this is really interesting. The number one place where entities hang out are in the doorway of bars right above the doorway and they'll scout you out as you're walking in they'll be paying attention how much you're drinking and if you reach that point where you've drank way too much there's a huge portal that opens up and they can jump right in so be very careful I mean they call it spirits for a reason right smudging 
sure you smudge if you feel like you're being energetically or psychically attacked. Smudge. And what I say is I demand that all negative entities leave my house immediately. You are no longer welcome here. Only those of the highest vibration of truth, light, and love are welcome. And I go through and I repeat that over and over. I'm smudging all over my house. I keep repeating that. This one's so obvious, but how often do we do this? Ask your guides and angels, ask your posse, go right down the line. Creator, source, universe, spirit guides, guardian angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, collective neighbors and friends, higher self, mother earth. Go right up and down, ask them for help. You know, your guides and angels are sitting there waiting 24 seven, 365, twiddling their thumbs saying, okay, when are they gonna ask? Because you know we do have this law of non-interference um, in drastic cases, I imagine they are able to interfere, but you basically have to ask them. <laughs> so they're sitting there, you see, they're right behind me, hanging out there, nodding their heads right now. Yep. So ask them if you're, if you're getting psychically attacked, ask them for help, ask them for protection. Be careful with your sexual energy too. who you're giving it away to and who you're receiving it from better be high vibrational we'll put it that way um, i'm not going to go too much into this but i think you already understand where i'm going with that because you're extremely vulnerable at that point so you know um just be careful all right i'm just gonna leave it at that use visualization techniques and i explain this on i have an article and a video um, on in5d.com called what to do before you meditate and I highly recommend checking that out and I will put a link in this um, chat right now and on YouTube I'll put it in the more info section uh, so check that article out basically what you're doing is creating that that bubble of energy and I walk you through it on exactly what to do another thing is um, look into implant and parasitic removal from a qualified healer. Uh, the one I would recommend highly is Eric Rains. And uh, he does a magnificent job of finding these and describing to you exactly what they are and will help you get rid of them. And he has a bunch of tools on his website as well. And I'll put a link for that in here too. But you can do this on your own. I mean, he gives you all the tools that you need, but you can also have him you know, for a price um, help you with that as well um, he's fantastic he's a really really great guy and um, i highly recommend him so um, so if you're having issues with that um, definitely um, check him out or somebody that that is is highly uh, qualified and repu reputable okay some more water i was talking to somebody on um, one of my posts, I forgot who, what I forgot her name, but um, she said that she just started um, buying the ten water, and she said, "Oh my God, it is the best water ever!" Now I see why you've been saying it so much. And like I said, you know, I I don't I get nothing. I, I'm not sponsoring them. They're not sponsoring me. <laughs> I I'm not an affiliate. I just love that water. It's fantastic. Um, so you know, if you just try it and you'll fall in love with it too. Um, so another thing, this is what I do anyway, because I, you know, I look right here by the beach and I try to get out as often as I can, but I do a, a walk of gratitude. And like I said, I, I'll, I'll call on my posse, creator, source, universe, Spirit guides, guardian angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, galactic neighbors and friends, higher self and Mother Earth. And you've probably seen the article here, um, but I'll put once again, I'll post the link if you're new to N5D and if you're new to these live chats, I'll post the link here um, and check it out. And, you know, I call them my posse, but, you know, you notice I don't use the word God. I don't invite Jesus, but feel free to change that um, if that's what you're feeling invite whoever you want <laughs> you know make make this your own posse um, 
you know, these are the people that I really rely on because I, I cut out all the middlemen. I go, you know, basically directly to source when, when I have any issues. So uh, the other thing, another thing is um, a love bubble meditation, which once again, I'll put a link for right here. Um, and when I do that, excuse me, <clears throat> when I do a love bubble meditation, um, this is right after my walk of gratitude. And I'll ask my posse to magnify their loving, healing energy from their heart center and spread it out as far as they can throughout the planet, galaxy, universe, multiverse, and omniverse. And then we walk back to wherever I am on the beach, and everybody that comes into our field is affected by that. So, and you can do that anywhere. You can do that at a mall. If you're driving down a highway, um, wherever you are, send out that love intention because everything every thought has energy and it's got to do something right positive so put out that love bubble energy okay hi jenny friend of mine oh, gosh <laughs> she she flies with the angels or <laughs> the fairies i'm sorry flies with the fairies she's awesome Oh, speaking of which, I hope Missy ends up doing some more articles eventually. You know, and I miss seeing Missy's uh, meta, metamissy.com. She's written a few articles that I've published here on in5d.com. That's uh, Missy's Jenny's daughter. Um, the last thing is cord cutting. And I have a, there are a number of articles, and I'll list them all right here too on in5d.com on what to do, how to do it. Um, so, you know, cord cutting is very, very important if you are being energetically or psychically attacked by some nefarious beings. So, my guides and angels have been basically telling me to pass on this message. And I've said it so many times, but it's so important. These five things are so incredibly important. Number one, love. Especially like random acts of kindness, those are huge. But just love, just love. Put that energy of love out there. Number two, gratitude. That's um, it's why I do the walk of gratitude universe loves gratitude um, so when you put that appreciation out there you know the universe is just smiling and uh, high-fiving you basically you and your higher self number three is forgive Dolores Cannon talks about forgiveness um, it's the easiest way to overcome karma forgive and when you're forgiving be sure to forgive yourself too and that way, you know, you're going to help yourself. You know, if we do have to do any kind of life review before we move to the next place of spiritual progression, you already have that part covered. Okay. Uh, number four is to maintain a high vibration. When you maintain that high vibration, even if you're getting energetically and psychically attacked, especially the energetically part, nothing can stay within a high vibration. It's like, it's like cancer in an alkaline body. Cancer cannot exist in an alkaline body. So may, keep that vibration high. Uh, do things that make you happy, which helps you maintain a high vibration. And the last thing is to ground. And I keep t saying this over and over and over again, but it's so important. You know, those people that you're seeing in this genre that are losing it, they're not grounded. <laughs> so get out there and ground whether it's at a lake, a mountain a stream the beach the desert in the snow, doesn't matter just get out there and ground, make that connection to Gaia and feel it and if your mind is like preoccupied stay there until there's nothing in your mind except the love and appreciation of being in the moment so so I'm going to leave it off at that. Um, I'm not sure how long we've been going. Uh, 40 minutes, wow. <laughs> I usually try to keep them short, but um, 
and I'm sorry if I have missed um, any questions. I see one here from Tamara. It's Rains, um, R A I N E S, Eric Rains, Tamara. But um, yeah, I'm just so grateful that all of you were able to join me here tonight, and, um, and for all my Patreon people as well that have helped me um, there as well. Um, like I said, if you're interested in checking that out, I have a raffle going on on my Patreon account. I'll put a link on it for here. But, uh, you know, and to everyone that joined me on YouTube as well, on the recorded version, thank you so much. And I guess, you know, that'll be it. I'm sending you all infinite love and light and, and gratitude for joining me and being part of my evening tonight. So namaste to all.